to do. In the, in the next few minutes that I have, I have some homework for you to do. This is my book entitled The Prohibition of Riba in the Quran and Sunnah. When you come on the march, on March the 12th at the Jama Masjid San Fernando uh, to the launch of this book, uh, you can get a copy of this book. And in this book I mention here, on the 5th of April 1933, this is what Uncle Sam did the U.S. government, under executive order of the President of the United States of America on April 5th, 1933, 1933, all persons are required to deliver on or before May the 1st of 1933, so you have less than a month in which to do it, all gold coins, all gold bullion, all silver certificates, all gold certificates, all that you own must be delivered to the Federal Reserve Bank or to any branch or agency or any member bank of the Federal Reserve System. And if you do not do it by the 1st of May 1933, the criminal penalty for violation of this executive order is a fine of 10,000 US dollars or 10 years in imprisonment, or both, or both. Oh, so the government can ban you. You have to turn over the gold to them. And guess what they'll do with the gold? They'll give you paper. They'll give you paper for the gold. So you have to take the paper. And in 1933, one ounce of gold was convertible to $20 US. So all the American people had to give up their gold, otherwise you go to jail. The smart Americans shipped their gold to Switzerland. The rest didn't have that sense, so they had to give it to the government. Otherwise you go to jail. That is the United States of America. If they could do it there, they could do it here. And then after Uncle Sam had taken all the gold of the country and converted it to dollars at $20 an ounce, guess what he did? He changed the price of gold from $20 an ounce to 35, like from $1 for 100 oranges to less than one orange for a dollar. It changed the price of gold by causing the value of the money to go down. So the American people now have gold in their hands, have, sorry, paper in their hands, which if you use that paper to bring it back, bring, buy back your gold, and you're not, get, you're not as yet allowed to buy back your gold, huh? they will get 40% less of the gold that they had. The American government ripped off the American people of 40% of their wealth. 40%. It's stealing. And in the Bible, the Lord God has said, Thou shalt not steal. The same thing are there, I'm sure, in the Vedas and in the Upanishads. And this is stealing. This is stealing. And so, it is dangerous now to keep all your wealth in gold and silver, dangerous. Because I'm sure, I'm as certain as the sun rises from the east, that in the same way that they banned the 1,000 rupee note and the 500 rupee note in India, tomorrow they're going to ban you from using, keeping gold. I'm absolutely certain of that. It's coming. That slavery is coming. So do not, do not, do not keep too much gold and too much silver unless you have an army to protect yourself. Because they'll come to seize it. And when they come to seize it, they'll probably convert it to electronic money for you and you're at their mercy. Well then, what to do? Answer, just keep a few gold coins Keep a few gold coins, maybe a maximum of 40, 40 gold coins, and keep more silver coins, maybe a maximum of 100 silver coins, 
A hundred silver coins would be worth about maybe, what, less than 2,000 TT dollars? Yeah, a hundred silver coins. So that's not much money uh, to invest in. But at least with one silver coin, you'll be able to buy food for one day. So keep a few gold coins. So if they come to seize your gold, you would not lose everything. They're coming tomorrow to seize it. Keep a few gold coins, don't keep too much. Keep some silver, don't keep too much. Well then, check, what do we do? Answer, the prophet said, Allah's blessings be upon him, and only a true prophet could speak like that. Prophet Muhammad, Allah's blessings be upon him. About the end time, and with this we'll end for today. He said, if you have land, he said, if you have land, hold on to your land. He said, if you have animals, hold on to your animals. So hold on to things which have value, which can be preserved, like land and animals, which is going to be difficult for them to seize. And I pray that Allah, the one God, might protect his servants and protect all those who want to live lives of integrity and who want to stand up for justice and who oppose oppression in the world. Thank you. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.